Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! For Jared Neal, the fight against Donald Trump is not over yet. Donald Trump has got to go, hey, hey. Oh, ho. Donald Trump has got to go, hey, hey. In San Francisco's Castro District, more than a thousand people have turned out to protest against the future president. They're from the LGBTQ community, black Americans, and Latinos, all minorities that Trump attacked during his election campaign. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're destroying families and, and lives. You should be so ashamed. And I hope you're happy with what you've accomplished. The 34-year-old spent six weeks working as a volunteer for Hillary Clinton's Democratic campaign in Nevada. During that time, he actually lost his normal paying job, making Trump's victory all the more frustrating. Jared considers Donald Trump's claim to want to unify Americans a bad joke. He and fellow activist Vicky Rega said the country is divided and there's widespread mistrust. We talked to a lot of people that were the first time voting. They were 18, 19, 20 years old, and they were Latino. And they're the first one in their family that's, you know, legally allowed to vote. Um, the rest of their family, they were afraid that they were going to get deported. And, uh, and it took a lot just to get them to answer the door because they were afraid that they would be, you know, deported then. They were, tensions were really high. They keep asking themselves if it's even possible to work with Trump's Republicans. Yeah, if, if, they, if they cut out all this crazy stuff, you know, it's my understanding that David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan thought that the pres Trump presidency was the finest day of their lives. That's, that's not the Republican Party I grew up with. For Jared and many others here in left-leaning liberal San Francisco, the sense of resignation is mixed with anger. They take Trump's claim that they have nothing to fear with a grain of salt. In Jared's favorite bookstore, conversation right now is focused more on health insurance than literature. Sure, this is his first cookbook in a long time. Yeah. We finally got Hillary over the line to go for uh, uh, universal health care, and um, you know we don't we don't get to have that on, on our horizon for at least another four years. And they're already talking about taking away Obamacare and all sorts of things that Obama got done. In San Francisco and many other parts of the country, left-leaning and liberal voters are hoping that the American system of checks and balances will prevent the worst from happening. And some are considering radical change, like the so-called Cal Exit. It's a playoff from Brexit. It's basically showing that California, we've had enough. If the rest of the country wants to be so bigoted and so racist and sexist, we don't want to be a part of it anymore. We're, we can be self-sufficient without them. Donald Trump doesn't take office until January of next year. His critics want to start applying pressure now in the hope that many of his threats don't become U.S. policy.